What is going on everybody? My name's Connor. You guys can call me Superior or you can call me Second Prestige because I literally just finished up the First Prestige. You see I am First Prestige level 55. This took me about 24 hours to complete like total. Um, I got to like level 30 without double XP and then just completely shit on the last 25 levels with double XP because it's so much faster and it's awesome. So I guess I got through this prestige kind of fast and I think you guys should be pretty proud of me. So give me a round of applause. All right, it's really not that impressive, okay? So uh, it is double XP weekend right now. I've been playing a shit ton, probably more than I should. Uh, and I want to get to at least fourth or fifth prestige by the end of double XP because it's literally twice as fast to level up. So if you're not playing right now, it's on every single console. If you're not playing, get your ass on Black Ops 3 and fucking get some prestige. Anyway, as normal, I'm going to give you guys a little overview of my classes that I use for the majority of the prestige. Uh, and then I'll show you my class or my medals and stats and everything like that. Uh, so let's get into this in the class setup. So the first one, this is my go-to VMP class. This is nothing new, you guys. I've seen this before. It's just a VMP with grip, quick draw, uh, rapid fire, and stock. Since I've been playing a lot of Nuketown and Chaos Mosh Pit, this is the go-to class. Best on machine gun in the game. Uh, and it's definitely my favorite. But for the perks, I have Afterburner because since I've been playing Nuketown, uh, you you know, you use your thrusters a lot and you jetpack around the map since it is a small map and you're trying to move fast and stay out of the enemy's lines of sight. So Afterburner does help out a lot. Uh, Anti-up, basically hardline, you know, and once I show you guys the score tricks I've been running, you guys will understand. And then Tech Mask, because on goddamn Nuketown, you know how many stuns all right you literally get stunned every single time you move now this class i haven't used a whole lot as you see it's only level five and i only have like one good attachment for it but this is the pharaoh uh probably the second best submachine gun next to the vmp in my opinion but i have loaded this uh class setup with perks all right i got afterburner and ghost uh i mainly use this class if i'm not playing newtown if i'm playing combine uh, or any other map really and then i got annie up hardline you'll see once you see the low kill streaks that i'm running uh, and then awareness and blast suppressor awareness amazing all right if you got a decent headset like these steel series or astros or whatever it may be awareness is your best fucking friend all right it'll help you shit on kids and just become the best player in the world all right uh the next one is an assault rifle class this class isn't fully built i have a theory for a better class setup with the man of war that i'm not sure because the gun's only a level five so i'm gonna experiment with that uh, but so far, the gun's pretty good. It reminds me a lot of the ACR, and this is my preferred class setup with it right there. Perks aren't really anything too crazy, just Blast Suppressor and Tac Mask. Uh, and then the last class setup I really use, I have six class setups because you get one when you hit first prestige. Uh, and then these two, you know, they're just titled, uh, you should, that, I'm telling you to uh, subscribe and uh, like the video. Anyway, but my last assault rifle class is with the ICR. Just threw quick draw stock and, and grip on it. Stock really doesn't do anything in this game, but I figure might as well put it on because it is a little bit noticeable, uh, and especially when you don't have a better attachment like fast mag, extended mags, long barrel, or rapid fire, since those are the last ones you unlock. So I just said, fuck it, put on stock, uh, and you know, that didn't really hurt me. So uh, I don't, I didn't mean to put gung ho on this class. I don't know why that was there. So we're going to put awareness on instead. Since I'm, with an assault rifle, I'm never going to use this on Nuketown. I feel like that's stupid, and I'm not going to be able to do that well with it. Um, so there's really no point in having tech map. Now, as far as my preferred specialist, I've been switching between these two a lot. I really like the Seraph, uh, but I like the Annihilator. It's just fun to use. You know, you have really good mobility with it. It shoots fast, uh, and it's good. And then you got Combat Focus, which helps you get your score streaks faster. So if you're playing Hardpoint or Dom, and you're capping the B flag, and you think you're going to get some capture kills, you just activate that. You'll get your score streaks instantly, and, you know, score streaks on top of score streaks. Just basically for days whenever you have the Combat Focus on. So the score streaks I've been running a lot of is just UAV, Lightning Strike, and Hell Hellstorm. They're all low kill streaks, all extremely easy to get, and you can all get them uh, extremely, extremely fast. And they're just nice to pick up a few kills with uh, and give you a little bit of bonus XP and score to help you just level up a little bit faster. Now here I have 44 Crypto Keys. I can't open Supply Drops, obviously, because I have almost 45 Crypto Keys. But how many do you guys want me to save up before I do a massive Supply Drop opening for you guys? So comment down below how many you want me to get. I was thinking I'm going to get 130 Crypto Keys. So then I can open up 10 Common Supply Drops and then one Rare Supply Drop. And then we can kind of compare and contrast and see if the Rare Supply Drop is worth it or if we should keep buying Common. So comment down below and let me know how many Crypto Keys you want me to save. Now as I'm sure most of the people were concerned with in here was what my actual stats were so my kd has dropped that's understandable on nuketown it's so fast paced you die a lot it's just it's pretty fucking insane actually so uh trying to maintain a 3 kd on nuketown isn't gonna happen 
uh, especially me because I'm not the best player in the world. My win-loss ratio, however, has risen. It's 0.93. I'm almost going to have a one-win loss uh, for the first Call of Duty, I think, ever. So uh, my score per minute also did go up because Nuketown, there's so much action going on. I have a 525 score per minute. I still would like to get it up to around 700, and I definitely know I can do that. Uh, I could probably get it to 800 or 900 if I keep playing Nuketown because it's just so hectic. And I have 20 almost a day played. I have almost 21 hours played, man. That's sad, dude. I, I, I want to I wanna start prestiging faster. And then as far as the medals go, um, the nuclear, I'm pretty sure I still have only one nuclear on this account that I did up. Yeah, I got one nuclear. I uploaded that the other day on the channel. Go back in the videos and check that out. Uh, and I still have one. I don't have a kill chain yet. I have one mega kill. I want a fucking kill chain. All right, I'm going to get it. It's, oh, I've come so close so many times. And as far as the leaderboards go, that's what I've been playing the most of. Uh, is domination and I'm about 7,000th in the world. I really want to try and get top 100 uh, Back in Call of Duty Ghost. I think I was about like 13th when the game ended in blitz So I was 13 uh, In blitz and I want to do that again in domination in this game So I'm gonna stay dedicated to domination play that as much as I can and hopefully uh, get my get my levels up in that so as far as entering prestige, uh, I'm, I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Let's, oh, man, that, that's fucking beautiful. I love that Spartan helmet here. We're going to enter prestige 2. Awesome. Prestige 2, baby. We got one permanent unlock. I don't want, know if I want to unlock Ghost. I think I'm going to unlock the M8A1. Reason being is it's double XP weekend. Um, and Ghost really isn't that helpful on Nuketown. And the main weapon I've seen people use on Nuketown uh, is the M8A1. Or at least the main assault rifle. Or the M8A7, my bad. Uh, so I think that's going to be worth it to bring that through Prestige. I've seen so many people using it, and it is the last thing you unlock in this game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give that an unlock, the M887. Uh, and it did receive a patch, or a buff, actually, in the last patch they put out. So it is better than it was when the game came out. So if you haven't tried out the M887 yet, take a look at it. You might want to bring it through Prestige. All right, boys, so there we have it. Just entered Prestige 2, level 1. Hopefully I can get another Prestige done extremely fast. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get this one done tonight, so I'm gonna have to stay up extremely late, but it's fucking worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what prestige you are uh, and just how many times you prestige during this double XP week. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click the thumbs up button if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.